Patriot League. Today's scholar athletes, tomorrow's leader. Patriot League basketball on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Good evening, Colgate Country. This is Eric Malinowski for tonight's lead contest between Army and Colgate men's basketball, both sporting two and two conference records. But let's take a look of how the teams got there. Army won their first Patriot League game, lost their next two, but rebounded at Loyola last time out. Kind of interesting, Army is 2-0 on the road in Patriot League play, 0-2 at home, while the Colgate men's basketball team, they won their first two Patriot League games, losing their last two, the last one against Navy, in heartbreaking fashion, dropping that one at Cotterell Court over the weekend in overtime. Colgate men's basketball, they have been starting one senior, two sophomore, and two freshmen. Army, the exact opposite, one of the most experienced teams in the league, starting five seniors. Should be a great game tonight at Cotterell Court in Hamilton, New York, between Army and Colgate men's basketball. This is Eric Malinowski, Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Give up. That's what they want you to do. Stop. That's what they want you to do. You're not the best. That's what they say. Come on, let's be great. I tell them all hell, King Kendrick, resurrecting my vengeance. Been dissecting your motor mouth till I break down the engine. This ain't a wanna shot, this a relevant henchman. See my opponent, then see your existence. It in our friendship, baby, I'd rather die alone. You die from a dietary, what you eat on. Capture your audience with these words, boy. The Holy Chapel, the Tabernacle, the Book of Matthew, and Jesus staring at you. Take your turn, boy. See, it's gonna take a whole lot of y'all to kill me. See, it's gonna take a whole tribe of y'all to kill me. I never die. My pedigree apparently only I don't last ahead of me, it's only my future and I don't time. No jeopardy, I gotta get used to making you mine. You telling me I only get used to living is fine. You can never live in my shoes, probably leaping from God. When the sun goes down, I scream loud, sleep when I die. But I will never die. My legacy will stay alive. Never die. Never die. Never die. When the sun goes down, I scream loud, sleep when I die. But I will never die. to fill the shoes of Tanner Plum, but the other starters will. Dylan Cox, senior card out of Cedar Park, Texas. Kyle Wilson, who's a leading three-point shooter in the league with 62 threes out of 163 attempts on the season. Kevin Ferguson is the senior center from Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. And Larry Toomey rounds out the starting lineup, a senior forward out of St. Louis, Missouri. And in his seventh season, Army is led by head coach Zach Spiker, the Ithaca grad. 94 wins, 103 losses here at Army. Taking a look at the starting five for the Colgate Raiders. They're going to go with the same starting five that they had in the second half against Navy. So they're making one switch. Dave Krumpetich started the game last time against Navy, but he did not start the second half. Tom Rivard did, the Worcester, Massachusetts native. He will get the start tonight. Rivard making his fourth start of the season. And he will join in the starting lineup. Austin Tillotson, the senior par point guard, doing a little bit of everything this year, leading the team in points per game with 13.1. Sean O'Brien gets another start, and Jordan Swapshire does as well, and Malcolm in the middle, Malcolm Regisford, the freshman center from Woodland Hills, California. Colgate takes the floor with their home white uniforms, the maroon letters, and Colgate across the chest, while Army West Point with West Point above the numbers on the back of their jerseys, the black jerseys with the gold numbers outlined in white. The tap to be contested between Regisford and Ferguson, and Regisford wins that. Austin Tillotson dishes it to Sean O'Brien. Looks like Tillotson visited the barber this week. Very fresh looking haircut by the York, Pennsylvania native. Tom Rivard, left wing, hands it off to Sean O'Brien. 
Sean O'Brien powers in, now backs up. Jordan Swapshire hands it off to Tillotson. Good pressure, man-to-man -man defense by Army. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Swapshire three, it is good. Swapshire picking up where he left off in the second half against Navy. That's his 22nd triple of the season. And Colgate with the early 3-0 lead. Defensive switch, Rivard now guarding the six foot four guard, Kyle Wilson. Hand off out top to Dylan Cox. Dylan Cox shoots it right side to Amezi. Amezi gets it back from Toomey and now the gliding bank shot attempt is no good by Dylan Cox, one of the captains on this Army West Point team. Not only is Army without the 21 points in the lineup provided by Tanner Plum as he's out with an injury, but also his leadership as well. Tom Rivard slides into the paint and scores. A quick 5-0 burst out of the gate by Gate, but Army with the counter. They basket the other way, catching the Colgate defense napping, and it could be an old-fashioned three-point play. Taking it hard to the basket was Dylan Cox who is a 61% free throw shooter. Malcolm Regisford picking up his first. So Army a much needed basket on the road after giving up the first five points to Colgate. The free throw is good. And sometimes you gotta throw stats out the window. Remember Navy coming in as the worst team in the league from the free throw line. Well, they certainly perform well at the line against Colgate and one of the major reasons they won in overtime over the weekend. Here's a Rivard three right wing. It is no good. Rebounded by Regisford. Malcolm in the middle clears it left side to Tillotson. Back to Regisford as they play the high low game. Regisford tries to spin it home with the left hand. No good on the shot. Coming into tonight's game, Army seventh in the league as that three ball is good by the Black Knights. Larry Toomey. He's a forward, but he can stroke the three, the 11th of the season for Toomey. And all of a sudden, Army has the 6-5 lead. Army seventh in the league from the free throw line. Colgate eighth, 68% for Army, 67% for Colgate. Crossover by Tillotson, bounces it down low to Rivard. Rivard tries to feed the opposite block to Regisford. His pass goes awry, stolen by Army. Army on a 6-0 run, make it an 8-0 run, a long two by Kyle Wilson. Colgate scoring the first five, Army the last eight. 8-5 eight Black Knights. Sean O'Brien will dribble toward the right wing, hand it off to Tillotson. Colgate women's basketball in action tonight against Army. Taking on the very good Kelsey Minato. We wish Colgate women's basketball the best of luck and we'll have their game on the KXC Airwave Saturday. Jordan Swapshire with a jab stop. Deep three by Tillotson. He has to fire it up and he makes it. Four feet behind the line for Tillotson as he tickles the twine. And Austin has his 24th triple of the season to tie the game at eight. The ball was loose for a second. Scooping it up and scoring was Dylan Cox. Army gets the lead right back to take the 10-8 edge. Sean O'Brien will dribble to Rivard. That's where he'll put the ball. Rivard now bounces it back to O'Brien with 17 on the shot clock. Colgate moving from left to right. Tillotson glides down the near baseline behind the back pass to Regisford who lays it up and in with a right hand. Austin Tillotson putting together a fantastic season altogether, but in terms of assist to turnover ratio, it's been lights out, 81 assists compared to 30 turnovers. The dump down pass by Ferguson is stolen away by Colgate. The Raiders and Black Knights tied at 10. Officially in April, it's no longer just Army. They're known as Army West Point. 15.49 to go in the first half. Sean O'Brien hands it off to Regisford. Here's Swapshire, two out of two from Threeland. For the Bradley transfer, Swapshire has 23 triples on the season, 13 to 10 Colgate. Wilson puts on the deck with the right hand, pestered by O'Brien. Pass goes far baseline, and now Amezi for the three. His three ball rattles in. And that's only his second triple of the season. He was one out of 12 
from beyond the arc so far this season. A big three by the freshman to knot this game at 13 points apiece. Registered one-on-one -on -one against Ferguson as a block from behind, but they're going to say Ferguson got a little body too. With 15.06 to go in the first half, we have reached our first media timeout. We'll return in 90 seconds with a score tied at 13. Raider round ball, 94 KXC. So far tonight, the Cotterell Court Crazies have been entertained, seeing 10 shots go in and only three total misses. Army, five out of six from the floor. Colgate, five out of seven. The Raiders are also three out of four from Triple Town. As Regisford with the free throw, it is good. Ferguson fouled Regisford right before the media timeout. Malcolm's second free throw is up and in. Regisford, a 58% free throw shooter, giving Colgate the lead 15 to 13. Army two out of two from beyond the arc. One by Toomey, one by Amezi. Here is the aforementioned Toomey. Kick out pass. The right side three is short. No good. Scooped up and the putback also off the mark, but the tip in was good as a lot of fresh faces in there. Kennedy Edwards initially took the shot. And Mac Hoffman eventually put it in. As Adam Rowe also had a shot attempt. Here's the drive by Swapshire. Swapshire forces it outside to Rivard. Tied at 15, yet another tie Tillotson to Swapshire. Swapshire guarded closely by Rowe. As Swapshire has already rattled off a couple of threes. One on the shot clock. Rivard with a desperation heave. He hit the back heel. Credit to him. Hand in his face. About four feet beyond the three-point arc. He almost got that one to go. Army basketball looking for the lead. Quick shot by Toomey. No good. First three ball missed tonight by Army. Or actually second since moments ago. Kennedy Edwards put one up and misfired. Sean O'Brien out to Rivard. O'Brien, Tillotson, Rivard, Swapshire, and Register. Still the five on the floor for the Raiders, the five that started the game. Tillotson for three, no good. Catches the side rim. Army quickly past the timeline. Leading the way is backup point guard Jordan Fox, and the shot is good. Jordan Fox taking it past the timeline and scoring to give Army the two-point lead. He's a freshman from Jackson County, Kentucky. Army on a 4-0 run is Dana Bad and Alex Ramon into the contest for Colgate, giving Regisford and Swapshire a breather. Dana Bad, a 6'9", 215-pound freshman center from Fort Wayne, Indiana, while Alex Ramon, one of two seniors on the roster, the other starter, Austin Tillits, and Alex Ramon will be my halftime guest. Very entertaining interview, Alex always has thoughtful answers, so we'll take a listen to that interview. 
during the halftime show on 94 KXZ. Top of the key, Tillotson, another shot clock winding down. Tillotson with one, lets it fly, tries to bank it home, no good. Dana Bat trying to secure the rebound, he does, and is fouled in the process. Gotta love that effort by Colgate. The Raiders have to be frustrated that at least on three different occasions tonight, they've had to throw up a desperation heave as the shot clock is winding down, but they have to love that hustle by Dana Bat to keep the ball alive. That last foul by Jordan Fox. So in Fox's minute of action, he had a basket and a foul. Here is the bounce pass by O'Brien. Hand off to Ramon. Ramon, left side of the lane. Nice move against a Messi. Leans in with the right hand. Can't put it in. Ramon did a beautiful job of setting that up. Just couldn't execute the deuce. 12-24 and counting. Nathan Dodge, six foot two sophomore guard in there for Army. And a foul going against Army. An offensive foul with 12-21 left to go. That goes against Amezi. That's his first third team foul against Army. So Amezi, Dodge, Toomey, Ferguson, and Cox, the five on the floor for Coach Zach Spiker. Colgate countering with a lineup of O'Brien, Tillotson, Bat, Rivard, and Ramon. The pass goes off Ramon's shoulder. He gobbles it up, gives it to Rivard. Here goes Tillotson. Tillotson tries to bounce it to Bat on the left low block. Intercepted. Going the other way is Cox. Cox throws it away to Tillotson. So Tillotson gets it right back. He leads the team in steals with 28 now on the season. Tillotson fakes a three, goes baseline. Baseline siphon off, throws it away. Opposite baseline at Dodge. Dodge hustling over to get in front of that pass. And with 11.40 to go, Army has it. Dylan Cox scores, and he's going to the line to try to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. 11.38 to play in the first half. Army 19, Colgate 15. We'll be back in a minute and a half. Raider Round Ball, Patriot League Network, and 94 KXC. At the free throw line is Dylan Cox. He's already one out of one from the line tonight. He has a game high seven points right now. Cox's average for the season is 7.1 points per game. A boisterous student section here tonight. Good to see cheering on the Colgate Raiders men's basketball team. The free throw by Cox is missed. Army 8 out of 11 from the floor. Colgate 5 out of 11. The Raiders were 3 out of 4 from beyond the arc. They have missed their last three three-point attempts. Good ball movement on the perimeter. Very stingy half-court defense by Army. 5 to go. Al Tremone accelerates and scores. Sliding from the left to the right low block. Scores with a right-handed scoop shot. And Colgate... 
puts an end to the 6-0 Army run. Dave Krumpetich, the freshman from Pennsylvania, will see his first action in the contest in just a moment. Driving to the hoop is Toomey. He misses it, and Rivard blocks Cox on the putback. The other end, Francisco Amiel, the freshman from Portugal, is fouled on his way to the hoop. That unofficially is block number seven by Rivard. And that personal foul goes against Kennedy Edwards, the freshman from California, or the junior, excuse me. Amiel's first free throw is a little too strong, no good. Jordan Robertson also checking in, as does Krompetich. Francisco Amiel, second free throw, is up and in. Amiel on the season is now five out of 10 from the free throw line. 1918 Army, the baseline jumper curls out, and there's a foul on the rebound action. The shot was missed by Kyle Wilson. A foul coming up against Colgate on the rebound action. That goes against Alex Ramon, his first. 10.33 left to go in the first half. Trying to trigger in is Scott Mammel, the San Antonio, Texas native. Same hometown as freshman for Colgate, David Favor. Here's the left-handed dribble. Toward the left by Hoffman. As Ramon falls down, giving a wide open three to Wilson. Wilson misses it. Army with the offensive rebound. Hoffman directing traffic from the top of the key. The six foot eight Californian. Swinging the ball from side to side is Rowe. Here goes Mammel. 10 on the shot clock. Wilson comes in and tries to throw it to a cutting Toomey. But he led Toomey a little too far. It goes out of bounds, turnover by Army. And that's turnover number two by the Black Knights. Turnover number four, excuse me. Dylan Cox back into the lineup for the Black Knights. Army holding on to a one point lead. In the late stages of the first quarter at West Point, Colgate women's basketball leading Army 13 to seven. Here it's an Army one point lead. Remember Colgate women's basketball switching to quarters this year. Krompetich dribbles it off his foot. Turnover, but Ramon gets the ball to come free and Krompetich picks it up for Colgate so the Raiders get the ball right back. Amiel, Ramon, Bat, Krompetich and Jordan Robertson on the floor. So five non-starters out there for the Colgate Raiders. 9.15 to play in the first half. Amiel, no look pass. Krumpetich, baseline jumper is good. And the Raiders have the one point lead, 20 to 19. Hopping toward the left is Cox. He gets rid of it to Amezi. Amezi back to Cox. Right side drive by Toomey. Toomey able to hold his pivot foot. Delivers it to Dylan Cox, the senior guard from Texas. Pass goes down low, Ferguson, turn around left-hander, no good. Jordan Robertson goes high into the Hamilton sky for the loose ball. Amiel zigzags to the left, now he'll back up, call the play with 8.41 to go in the first half. Raiders up by one. Amiel with the looping dribble, now switches to the left hand. Amiel at the free throw line, gets it back to Robertson. Robertson crossover against Amezi, bounces it to Krumpetich, moves in. The teardrop is up and in from the left low block. Krumpetich has the last four points for Colgate and the Raiders lead by three, 22 to 19. The Raiders in the midst of a 7-0 run. Toomey trying to put an end to that, he does. Larry drills the baseline jumper from the opposite side, 22-21 Colgate. Neither team going on a major run tonight, but mini bursts all around. Colgate scoring the first five of the game. Army the next eight, travel by Krompetich. 
Regisford and Tillotson will check into the game. They have to wait to see who they're coming in for because everybody's going to the bench. That's because it's a media timeout. 7.56 to go in the first half with Colgate up by one, 22-21. We'll return in 90 seconds, Raider right Round Ball 94 KXE. KXC Studios engineering the broadcast on 94 KXC. Nina Lindbergh producing the broadcast for the Patriot League Network. Colgate men's basketball hosting Army back to live action in Cotterell Court. The spin and the shot attempt by Toomey is no good. Amezi, though, drives on the left side of the lane. And another chance for Army that time down the floor gives the Black Knights the one point lead 23 22. After one at West Point. Army women's basketball trailing by a point to Colgate, 13 to 12. Amiel with 7.17 to go in the first half. Krompetich backs down off glass and in. Krompetich has a couple of turnovers, but that's okay considering that he has six points already. A whistle against Army, and here we go the other way. 7.04 to play. That goes against Ferguson, his second. So Ferguson could very well be on the bench for the next seven minutes. If you're just joining us, Army dealing with a major loss. Tanner Plum injuring his knee in practice. And he is unavailable for tonight's game. That takes 21.8 points per game out of the lineup. Leading score in the Patriot League. High elbow jumper by Krompetich. Halfway down, spins out. Before that shot, Krompetich was a perfect three out of three from the floor. Very close to going four for four from the floor. 6.37 and counting. Wide open three by Wilson. No good. Rebounding it is Robertson. Robertson clears far side. Amiel. Amiel up the court to Tillotson. Tillotson dribbles in the foul circle. Now will back up. Dribble between the legs. Asking Regisford to set a high screen. Tillotson still has the dribble, finally delivers to Robertson, now swinging over left side to Amiel. Amiel, hesitation dribbles, goes underneath the basket, feeds Krumpetich, now Robertson for three, sends it long, saved by Regisford, two on the shot clock, Tillotson tickles the twine, and a heave it up with one to go on the shot clock, great save by Regisford to keep that possession alive after Robertson sent the three a little long. Good ball movement by Army. Here's a Wilson three. He has an answer for Tillotson's three. And it's back to a one-point game for Colgate. They led 27-23 to 23 for a nanosecond before Wilson delivered the three from the near baseline. That's his first triple tonight. You know he's going to get on track. 63 threes for Wilson this season. Tillotson puts it up quickly off glass and in, but they're going to wave off the basket and call an offensive foul against Tillotson. 5.25 to go in the first half. Big call there with Colgate up by one. Swapshire and O'Brien into the game, and that's the second personal against Tillotson. 
So not only does that take the basket off the board, but that also takes Tillotson out of the game. Now we see David Favorite, and it's been a little bit since we've seen number three in the Colgate lineup. The freshman has seen action in 10 games this year, but he hasn't been active in the last four. The ball is loose, turnover Army. Favorite, a three-point specialist. Swapshire puts up the three, and he is hammered after a shot, so he'll go the line for three. No argument by Adam Rowe. He hacked him on the right arm. I'm sure a point of emphasis on the Army sideline after Swapshire drilled his first two threes was to make sure he doesn't get any more. And Adam Rowe knew he made a mistake right after Swapshire put up that three ball. Jordan Swapshire, the best free throw shooter in the Patriot League, statistically speaking, at 84%. 28-26 Colgate. Swapshire takes a deep breath. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Last time out against Navy. Luke Morrison making an appearance for Army. He'll replace Kennedy Edwards. And Swapshire looking to give Colgate the four-point edge. Jordan eyes the target. The shot rattles around, no good. So Swapshire two out of three after being fouled from beyond the arc. 29 to 26 Colgate. Dribble out top by Jordan Fox. He'll hand off to Morrison. The sophomore from Charlotte. So back to Fox. Fox will bounce it down low and a foul on Amiel. Fifth team foul against Colgate with 4.51 to go. Army has six team fouls. Non shooting foul. Amiel with his first. Slapping the basketball underneath his hoop is Fox. Still looking. He'll launch it just in front of the timeline to number 21, Kyle Wilson. Wilson to row for three. No good. Falling down after he got the rebound was Mac Hoffman. Hoffman couldn't maintain his balance. The ball popped loose, and Colgate comes away with it. The Raiders up by three with 4.30 to go in the first half. David Favorite. Chest pass to Amiel. Back to Favorite. Fakes the three. Keeps it on the perimeter to Amiel. Now works it over to Swapshire. Sean O'Brien drives in, puts up with the right hand, and it nudges over the rim. Sean O'Brien gives Colgate the five-point lead, 31 to 26. I believe that matches their biggest lead of the game when they led 5-0. Approaching the four-minute mark of the first half, Wilson dispatches it to the six-foot-eight Hoffman. A foul away from the ball going against Colgate. That will be their sixth team foul. That goes against Favorite, his first. Amezi back to the game, back into the game for Army, as is Dylan Cox. They will replace Wilson and Jordan Fox. Good crowd tonight at Cotterell Court in Hamilton, New York, as the Raiders try to break their two-game losing streak. Both teams tied in the standings right now at two and two. Right-handed dribble by Cox. Loops the pass down low to an open Hoffman. He misses the chip shot. It goes out of bounds. It was last touched by Colgate. There was some pressure down low, but Hoffman would love that opportunity back. With 3.49 to go in the first half, We'll step aside for 60 seconds with the Raiders up by 5, 31-26. Raider round ball on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders and 94 KXE.
Network and 94KXE, also WKXEFM.com. On the road, Colgate women's basketball currently tied with Army. Five minutes left to go in the second, 23 points apiece. While here at Cotterell Court in Hamilton, New York, Colgate 31, Army 26. Army currently in a two minute, 49 second scoring drought while Colgate catching fire. Six out of their last eight. The Raiders shooting 57.9 for the game. Army 44% and a foul down low as Army being aggressive underneath the basket. And that will put Army at the line for a couple, I believe. Amiel with a foul, his second. And this will be the first free throw of the sophomore season for Luke Morrison. He was in the act of shooting, so he'll get two. And Morrison makes the free throw. Tom Revar back, Revar back into the lineup. For Colgate. And the second free throw of the season for Morrison rattles around and gets a little road loving from the rim. And that puts Army within three, 31-28 Colgate. Sean O'Brien hounded in the backcourt by Rowe. He's able to get it past the timeline. Matchup zone, the pass goes high. O'Brien somehow saves it. Great effort by the Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania native. Goes over left, Swapshire kicks in the corner to Faber. Remember, Tillotson out of the lineup with two fouls. Faber with one on the shot clock. Rivard gets it off, air balls it. Fading away, did not get a good look as the shot clock was about to expire. Alex Ramon into the game for the Raiders. And he'll replace Faber. Ramon, O'Brien, Swapshire, Regisford, and Rivard, the five on the floor for Coach Matt Langle in his fifth season. The Raiders could easily be 4-0 in Patriot League play, losing the last two games by a combined five points. Two-point loss to Holy Cross, three-point decision to Navy in overtime. Wide open underneath was Hoffman, but the defense collapses quickly. Hoffman misses. Army gets it back with 2.52 to go. Shot didn't hit rim, so the shot clock's still going. Wilson loses control. Here comes Colgate. Ramon, long outlet to Swapshire, who sinks the long two. The official on the opposite end signaling right away from the left wing that Swapshire had his big toe on the three-point arc. So it's 33-28 Colgate instead of 34-28. Handoff from Morrison to Amezi. Back to Morrison. Turns around against Swapshire. Swapshire slaps it out of his hands. Morrison loses it again thanks to Rivard, but Dylan Cox recovers for Army. Cox loses it. Finally, Wilson puts up a three with the shot clock about to expire. Rivard has it tied up by Cox. And the possession arrow favors the black and gold of Army. Morrison out of the game. Starter Larry Toomey back into the Army lineup with 2.09 to play in the first half. Want to thank everyone for tuning in to tonight's broadcast, not only on the Patriot League Network, but 94 KXE as well. Alex Ramon, my halftime guest on 94 KXE. Amezi barreling down. They're going to call an offensive foul against Amezi. That's the seventh team foul against Army. That's Amezi's second. He'll go out of the game back in for him is the freshman forward from Weston, Missouri, Adam Rowe. Taking a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. Waiting for it to update here, as we'll give you an Army Colgate women's basketball update as soon as I get one. Army leads 26-24, 4.13 to go in the second. Swapshire thought about the three, instead he gives it to Ramon, he drives. Ramon's pass, O'Brien tried to save it, but O'Brien is going to be called for a backcourt violation, I believe. He tried to slap it back into the frontcourt for Colgate. One forty-eight to play 
in the first half and let's see what the officials are going to decide. Garrick Shannon, Guy Pagano, and Chris Bohm are the officials tonight. And they're now going to say O'Brien did save it or was deflected so it wasn't a backcourt violation. Zach Spiker lobbying Army's case. As it stands right now, number 15, the O'Fallon, Missouri native, Jordan Swapshire, will trigger the ball into O'Brien. Unless the officials find out something different in the next 20 seconds. 148 to play in the first half. Raiders up by 5, 33-28. That matches their biggest lead of the game. The biggest lead of the game for Army was four points. The Raiders are led by Jordan Swapshire's 10 points. While Army still led by Dylan Cox's 7. 148 to play. And now they're going to reset the shot clock. Swapshire, O'Brien, Regisford, Rivard, and Ramon, the five on the floor for Colgate. As they play some music now, still trying to figure things out. Toomey, Wilson, Rowe, Hoffman, and Dylan Cox, the five on the floor for Army. And now I think we're ready for some Division I men's college basketball. Jordan Swapshire gallops back to his spot. Francisco Amiel just checking into the lineup. Dana Bat ready to march onto the floor as well. Bat goes in for Regisford. Amiel replaces Ramon. The whistle is blown and Swapshire fakes the pass to Amiel, gives it to O'Brien and now O'Brien delivers to Amiel. Amiel double teamed, passes out of it. Colgate moving from left to right on your 94 KXE dial. Amiel down low on the alley-oop attempt to Rivard. Rivard never got a clean handle and it's Army basketball down by five. Shot fake by Toomey, hands it off to Rowe. Rowe holding the ball at his left knee, Hoffman will put it in the breadbasket of Wilson. Nice pass, Dylan Cox to Toomey. Here's a wide open three by Rowe. It bounces around and falls in. Adam Rowe with his 19th triple of the season. And Army as a team has four three-point baskets tonight. 33-31, the lead for Colgate down to two. Sean O'Brien, Motors baseline, nice pass to a wide open Dana Bat, lays it up and in with the right hand. That is Bat's first bucket of the night to give Colgate the four point cushion. A foul against Army as Dana Bat goes flying. I didn't see the contact, all I saw was Dana Bat on his back. The foul goes against Mac Hoffman, that's his first. Team's eight. There is a 14 second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Amiel will pick it up in the backcourt. Ahead to O'Brien, a wide open three left wing, no good. Rivard tips it to himself over the smaller Wilson, now moves in, is called for steps. Rivard recognizing that he stands six foot seven and Kyle Wilson at six foot four, so he had a little size advantage, able to tip it to himself. The basket did go down, but before that, they call a travel against Rivard. That will put the ball back to Army. With 33.9 seconds left, Army calls for a 30-second timeout. We will keep things right here. Alex Ramon checking in for the Raiders. So there's a 3.9-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Remember, Colgate fans, stay tuned on 94KXE or WKXEFM.com. Alex Ramon, my halftime guest this evening, Looking forward to that interview. A very entertaining first half here at Cotterell Court. And it looks like the same holds true in West Point as Colgate led 13 to 12 after the first quarter, but now Army leading in the second quarter 20 to 13. So Army West Point women's basketball currently with a six point lead over Colgate. 1.10 left to go in the second quarter there. 
Cox in the center court circle. So they can basically take the clock virtually all the way down, although Colgate gets a quick rebound and an outlet, they could possibly get a shot as well. 12 seconds to play in the first half, six on the shot clock. Here is Cox, crossover against Amiel, gets some space, one on the shot clock, Army doesn't get a shot off. So if there was a 3.9 second differential, right now it shows 2.7, that should go back up to 3.9. Great half court defense by Colgate. And unless the Raiders turn the ball over and Army gets a quick shot off, Colgate, the very least, will walk into the halftime locker room with a four point lead. 30-second timeout called by Colgate. We're going to keep things right here. want to thank all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible, including the title sponsor, Rush's Bar and Grill, Lebanon Street in Hamilton. It is cold tonight, and I know a lot of schools were closed today. I believe Hamilton was closed. But Norwich and Oneonta and all those schools, unfortunately for the school kids, including my son, Avon Alexander, he had to go to school today. But in other areas, I guess they were hit harder with the snow. The snowstorm predicted in our area where I live and Skip Barlow resides in Otsego County and parts of Shenango County, the storm really didn't hit. There was some precipitation. But unfortunately for the school kids, not enough to call quits on the school day. Sean O'Brien into Tillotson in the backcourt. Two seconds, Tillotson fires off the long three, hits the back heel. Tillotson had a little more time to drive, but he has some serious range. So he pulled up just in front of the center court C here. And you know what? He had a good look, and that almost went down. So if Tillotson drives there, the shot's probably contested, and he probably doesn't get as good of a look. So Austin Tillotson... Probably got the shot he wanted, and it almost went down for the Colgate Raiders. After 20 minutes in the books, Colgate 35, Army West Point 31. We're going to step aside for three minutes. And when the halftime show begins, I will be talking to Colgate star Alex Ramon. That's next, Raider Round Ball 94 KXE.
KSC and the Patriot League Network. Thanks to Alex Ramon for making himself available earlier today. Taking a look at the halftime stats. Colgate shooting 54% from the floor. Army 42%. Both teams with four three-pointers in the first half. Remember, Army without 21-point score per game. Tanner Plum. Army out rebounding Colgate 19 to 10, and they have four more offensive rebounds than Colgate 9 to 5. But the most alarming stat for Army, they lead the league in assist to turnover ratio. 294 assists coming in and compared to only 223 turnovers tonight. Six assists, 12 turnovers by Army. Colgate seven assists, eight turnovers. Colgate three blocks, six steals. Army zero blocks, five steals. All three blocks by Tom Rivard. Rivard coming into this game with six blocks on the season. Colgate will start the second half with the basketball. Two fouls apiece for John Amezzi and Kevin Ferguson on the Army sideline for Colgate. Francisco Amiel and Austin Tillotson have two apiece in a jump ball situation. Sean O'Brien is tied up on the far sideline. Possession arrow favors Army. Biggest lead of the game for Colgate, five points. Army's biggest lead was five points. Dylan Cox is passed down low, is deflected. It goes out of bounds. It was last touched by Colgate. You are listening to the 117th all-time meeting between Colgate and Army men's basketball. And Army has a slight edge, 59-57. A whistle in the paint coming up against Colgate. Colgate 6-9 on the season. Army West Point 11-5. And, and Austin Tillotson, can't believe it, he was called for the foul, his third. So Tillotson begrudgingly will go on the sideline. And that's a major loss for Colgate. Tillotson... I believe the only one averaging over 30 minutes per game for Colgate, 35.1 to be exact. Nice pass by Ferguson. Down low for a cutting Cox. Dillon has the first points of the second half. And just like that, Army slides within two. Dillon Cox leads Army's scoring attack with nine, while Colgate is led by Jordan Swapshar's 10 points. 35-33 Colgate. Amiel controlling the point in Tillotson's absence as he has three fouls. A foul on the baseline against Army, and I believe that's a Mezzi, and if it is, it's the third personal against the freshman making his first collegiate start in place of Tanner Plum. He'll go out. Adam Rowe in for him. Rowe saw nine minutes in the first half, scoring three points on one out of three shooting. Army three out of four from the free throw line. Colgate five out of seven. Sean O'Brien catches the inbounds pass, gives it back to Amiel. Amiel bounces it to Rivard, going against the smaller Wilson, a little help defense, pokes the ball three. Rivard gets it back off glass and in. The Worcester, Massachusetts native now has four points to go along with his three blocks and three rebounds. Colgate back up by four, 37-33. The Raiders looking to get back into the Patriot League win column. Nice spin. Cox puts it up. Doesn't draw a rim. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Army. It will be Colgate basketball in their home white uniforms moving from right to left. Good attendance tonight at Cotterell Court cheering on the Colgate men's basketball team. Army West Point women's basketball leading Colgate at the half, 34-28. Swapshire, near side three, hits the back heel. Rivard with the rebound. He tries to float it to Regisford. It goes out of bounds, turnover Colgate. Colgate led 13-12 after the first quarter at West Point. Army 22-15, they took the second quarter. Colgate off to a quick start. As the third quarter has started, and the Raiders tying it up at 38, out to a 10-4 lead in the third quarter. A foul offensively against Army with 18.06 to play. A little 
will be Colgate basketball moving from right to left here. Swapshire with a nice fake, but Ferguson holding ground. Kevin Ferguson second in the league in block shots with 25. Here's the jumper and the score by Amiel. It's a three ball and Colgate has their biggest lead of the game, a rare three by Amiel in his freshman campaign. His fifth in 29 attempts. The ball trickles out of bounds. It will stay with Army. Army leading the league in three-pointers made at 10 a contest. They have two of the best three-point shooters in the league, unfortunately for Army. One of them is out today with an injury, Tanner Plum. Dylan Cox catches the ball down low. He goes up strong, scores. He is going to the line for an old-fashioned three-point play. I believe this is Cox's second Attempt an old-fashioned three-point play. When Colgate scored the first five points of the game, Cox countered with a layup, and he got fouled, and he hit the free throw. Dana Bat into the game after that last foul. Was picked up by Regisford, his second. So it seems every time Army needs a basket, they dial up number 11. Dylan Cox will go out of the game. He'll get a breather for Jordan Fox. So Fox in for Cox with 17.38 to go in the game. 40 to 36 Colgate. Swapshire head to O'Brien. O'Brien coasting ahead and he has a block by Toomey. O'Brien had Rivard on the left, but also back there was Wilson. And Toomey got high up in the air to register his seventh block of the season against O'Brien. The good news for Colgate, the ball ended up going out of bounds, and it will be Raider possession with 17.33 to go in the second half. Jordan Swapshire grabs the ball with his big right paw, hands it back to Amiel. Amiel, crossover dribble against Fox. No look pass to Rivard. Rivard off the shoulder to O'Brien. O'Brien able to catch it, though. O'Brien throw back to Dana Bat just inside the arc. Bat back to O'Brien. O'Brien glides on the baseline. This one won't be blocked. O'Brien guides it into the bottom of the net with his right hand, 42-36 to 36 Colgate. That is O'Brien's fourth point of the contest. Shots missed by Army. Swapshire can't control the loose ball. 17.01 to go in the game. Army will have another chance. Nathan Dodge back into the game for Army. Only his third appearance of the season. He saw four minutes in the first half. Came up with three steals. So Dodge playing some great defense in his limited action in the first half. That inbounds pass thrown away by Rowe. O'Brien and Rivard back to O'Brien. Fast break, run to perfection by the Colgate men's basketball team. And the Raiders romping into stomping right now, up by eight. The foul on Amiel on the perimeter. Toomey controlled the basketball, and Amiel called for the chest bump. 44-36 Colgate. Okay, back on defense. Dodge will call for Ferguson, top of the key. Ferguson handing off to Fox. Fox chest pass to Rowe. Rowe's three ball is good. Rowe making up for his throwaway. And he is a second triple of the contest to make it a 44-39 Colgate lead. 16-20 and counting in the game. Austin Tillotson. Has not seen that much action tonight because he's been in foul trouble. Saw 10 minutes in the first half, maybe a couple here in the second half before picking up foul number three. Amiel dribbles underneath the basket. They're going to say he stepped on the baseline. Army West Point women's basketball, 42, Colgate 40. 4.54 left to go in the third quarter there. As we continue to follow that score, We'll have Colgate women's basketball on 94 KXE this weekend. As the Colgate men on the road. While the Colgate women will be home here. Swaps are after the turnover by Army. A blocking foul called against Army West Point. Colgate women's basketball will be hosting Bucknell. While the Raiders will be on the road 
at Bucknell on the 16th. Coach Spiker not happy with the last foul call against Colgate. 15.48 to play, 44-39 Colgate will return in 60 seconds. Raider round ball, 94 KXE. Forty-four Army thirty-nine. Taking a look elsewhere in Patriot League play on Monday, Bucknell survived Lehigh eighty-two to seventy-six. Bucknell still perfect in league play at five and zero. Oh. While well, tonight Lafayette Lamb basing Holy Cross forty-seven to thirty-two, eleven fifty-one to go in the second. Swapshar at the line. He currently has ten points. Colgate, 54.8% from the floor from the free throw line. They're now six out of eight. Thanks to Swapshar's last make. Loyola, Maryland leading Navy, 35 to 29. And American currently 0-4 in Patriot League play. Is losing to Boston University, 30 to 24. The shot is missed, but Rivard keeps it alive. Tom playing a great all-around game. Alex Ramones bounce pass to no one in particular. Sean O'Brien tracks it down, passes it to a wide open Dana Bat. Assist number three for O'Brien, point number four for Bat. And the Raiders match their biggest lead of the game, eight points, 47-239. The ball is loose. Tom Rivard, who else comes up with it? Not a dominating stat line, but he's filling every category, it seems. Jordan Swapshire for three, no good. Long rebound to O'Brien. O'Brien to Rivard, back to O'Brien. O'Brien one-handed push pass to Swapshire. Swapshire spins, shovels it to Rivard. Rivard sinks the three ball. Tom Rivard has seven points. Army West Point wants a timeout. As the Raiders up by 11, their biggest lead of the contest, 50 to 39, will be back in 30 seconds. Raider round ball, 94 KXE. Back to Raider round ball, 94 KXE here at Cottonwell Court in Hamilton, New York as the 30-second timeout becomes a media timeout. But I'll chat with you while we wait for a play to resume here with the Raiders after that last Rivard three, up 50 to 39. Currently, Army West Point leads Colgate in women's basketball, 44 to 40. 13 points for Katie Curtis to lead Colgate so far. And we have 14.49 left here. Taking a look at the stat sheet, Colgate continues to shoot lights out. 60% here in the second half. Overall, 55.9%, while Army 44% for the game. Colgate 6 out of 15 from Triple Town. Army 5 out of 15. Army with a three-rebound edge. Army known for their... Handling of the basketball, leading the league in assist-to-turnover ratio. Not tonight, eight assists, 15 turnovers. 
Colgate, 12 assists, 11 turnovers. Really impressed with the play of Tom Rivard. Seven points, six rebounds, one assist, three blocks. Here is Amezi, the freshman in foul trouble, gained his first collegiate start. He has three personal fouls. Austin Tillotson with three fouls. He has been on the bench for a good chunk of this game. Amezi for three, no good. O'Brien with the long rebound. Sean O'Brien already with his third board tonight to go along with his six points and three assists, two steals. Sean O'Brien throw back to Rivard. Rivard bounces it to Dana Bat off glass and in. Dana Bat caught that. He wasn't even looking for it, but he had the composure to haul in the pass, and that ball thrown away. Ramon was pestering Cox in the backcourt. Cox threw it from his backside. And it ended up going to a Colgate player. Sean O'Brien for three. O'Brien, oh yes. 55 to 39 Raiders. At one point, this was a 44-39 Colgate lead. The Raiders exploding for the last 11 points. They now lead by 16, 55 to 39. Unbelievable turn of events here at Cotterell Court in Hamilton, New York, with the Raiders rocking and rolling right now. As Army calls for another timeout, we will step aside. Well, we will, I'll step aside to the out-of-town scoreboard. I'm not gonna send it back to Skip Barlow. I'll give him a break on this timeout as Loyola, Maryland, with a three-point lead over Navy, 37 to 34. 14 minutes left to go in that one. Boston University with a six-point edge, 35 seconds left to go in the first. And Lafayette, a 12-point lead over Holy Cross. 10-12 to go in the second. Colgate will have a chance to do something no other Patriot League team has done yet this season, and that's beat Bucknell. Bucknell, a perfect 5-0 in league play. Overall, they're only 8-8, eight eight, but they're perfect in the Patriot League. The Raiders 6-9, looking to climb to 7-9 here. A foul called against Colgate, their fourth team foul. Kyle Wilson stepping to the line for two free throws. The fourth best shooter in the Patriot League from the free throw line. From a stat standpoint, Kyle Wilson just notched his sixth point of the contest. We really haven't gotten Kevin Ferguson a lot involved. Ferguson, the leading rebounder in the Patriot League with 8.6, he's only got two boards. And he's 0 for 1 from the floor. He's the leading percentage guy for field goals in the league, 62%. But Ferguson, currently scoreless and only has two boards. Both free throws were good. Ramon, nice sharp bounce pass to Rivard, far corner. Rivard skips it back to Ramon, left wing. He zigzags through traffic. Here is O'Brien. High elbow left side. Bounces it to Ramon. Ramon fakes the three. Drives in. Puts it up with the right hand. Misses it. Fighting for the loose ball. It goes out of bounds. It was last touch by number 10 of Colgate. It will be Army basketball moving from left to right on your 94 KXE dial. Nearing the 13-minute mark. Still plenty of basketball to be played. Yes, Colgate got the cushion up to 16 points, but Army not done yet. Top of the key, Toomey. Toomey off glass, no good. And it looks like Army's modus operandi right now is to attack. Back-to-back -back trips to the free throw line. Larry Toomey's first trip to the charity stripe tonight where he is 17 out of 27 this season. Tom Rivard picking up foul number two. the exuberant student section for Colgate. Letting Toomey hear about it. The right-handed shot is up, rolls around, and falls in. Army only missing one free throw tonight. They're currently seven out of eight from the line. Austin Tillotson and Jordan Robertson to check in for Colgate. Toomey knocks in both. 55 to 43 Colgate. Rivard and Ramon will get a breather. 
48-42 Army West Point women's basketball with 136 left to go in the third quarter. Austin Tillotson over to Swapshire. Full court pressure by Army. Austin Tillotson, quarter court left. Dribbles left. Passes to O'Brien. Tillotson double teamed. Bounces at the bat. Robertson to a wide open Swapshire. The three ball is good. Swapshire sinks at 58-43 Colgate. Jordan Swapshire with three threes tonight. Amezi walks in, puts up with the left hand. Nice looking shot, somehow that missed. And Swapshire rips it away, gives it to Bat. Bat is tied up. And they're going to call a foul as it certainly looked like there was some more contact than just tying up Bat. Army has called for the foul. It's against Ferguson, that's his third. Row back into the contest for Army. Swapshire, O'Brien, Bat, Tillotson, and Robertson, the five on the floor for Coach Matt Langle. Looking to get a win against Army tonight here at Cotterell Court in Hamilton, New York. Sean O'Brien looking up, dribbles all the way down to the left elbow. Tillotson tickles the twine. He was left all alone on the right side, and Colgate shooting lights out. The Raiders, 61, Army, 43. Toomey's pass, thrown away. Here comes O'Brien, three on two, left side of Tillotson. Tillotson hands it off to Robertson. The up and under, no good with the shot. But Jordan Robertson will go to the free throw line. Still in the backcourt is Kevin Ferguson. He is shaken up for Army. He will be taken out of the game in favor of Mac Hoffman. But Mac Hoffman will have to wait 90 seconds as we have reached a media timeout. 11.45 to go in the game. All Colgate, 61-43. You're listening to Raider Round Ball 94 KXZ. Jordan Robertson at the free throw line after going 0 for 4 at the line against Navy. He hits his first one tonight. Jordan Robertson now 11 out of 21 from the line this season. Robertson knocks down both. And the Raiders have their biggest lead of the contest, 20 points, 63-43. Army seeking their sixth straight road win. That obviously in great jeopardy right now with 11.35 to go. Wilson with a left-handed dribble, curves in and scores. Kyle Wilson has nine points. And the lead down to 18, 63 to 45. Army can score. Obviously, they're without their top gun tonight in Tanner Plum. But they lead the league in scoring offense. So that tells Colgate they need to put more points up on the scoreboard. Dana Bat spins, puts up with the right hand, rattles out. Good offensive move down low by Bat. That's his first missed shot of the night. He was three out of three. The three by ball by Wilson is short from the far baseline. Austin Tillotson emerges from the pack. He has it down low to a wide open Robertson. 
Robertson with zero points in the first half. He already has four in the second. The assist by Tillotson and the Raiders up by 20, 65 to 45. Pass down low to Hoffman. Hoffman off glass, counted, and Mack is going to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Hoffman, four points tonight to go along with the six rebounds. Luke Morrison will come into the game for Army, while Rivard and Regisford in for Bat and Swapshire. Bat picking up his first personal foul. Mac Hoffman's first free throw of the night. He's two out of five. This season, make it three out of six. 65-48 Raiders. Austin Tillotson with the dribble. He's been in foul trouble tonight. Still has nine points in limited minutes. Austin Tillotson, top of the key. 53-42 Army West Point women's basketball over Colgate. Ten minutes to go in that one. Rivard left low block to Tillotson. Ball fake. Tillotson moves in. Ducks under. Misses the shot. Regisford gets it back with one on the shot clock. Didn't get it off quite in time. Shot clock violation against Colgate. The Raiders currently in control. 65-48. Over Army West Point. Army has been a road warrior so far this year. 2-0 in the Patriot League. The two teams split last year. Army winning at home by two while Colgate had their way here. A near steal. Rowe gets it back, throws it down low. Dylan Cox with a right-handed scoop. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. And let's see where the ball resides. I think it's going to stay with Army. Colgate crushed Army here on February 18th, 84-69. Here's the drive. The shot attempt no good by Wilson. Regisford ahead to Tillotson. Tillotson to a streaking Robertson off glass and in. JR has six second half points. And the Raiders elevate their lead 67 to 48. Straight away three by Morrison off to the left. No good. Takes an extra bounce. And it looked like that was going to allow Hoffman to get the rebound and the putback. But they're going to say Mack was in that position because he fouled. Hoffman called for the personal. His second. Colgate women's basketball will be hosting Bucknell on the 16th at 4. We'll have that game right here on 94 KXE. Tillotson with the bounce pass to O'Brien. O'Brien left-handed dribble, gets some separation thanks to a Rivard screen. Here's a three by Tillotson. He tickles the twine again, his fourth triple of the contest. 70 to 48 Colgate. And Tillotson, like I said, not playing the minutes he usually sees because of foul trouble. He is still in double digits with 12. Amezzi with a behind-the-back dribble. Colgate men's hockey will be in action this weekend as Sean O'Brien with the steal. Blue skies ahead. The right-handed layup is good. 72 to 48 Colgate, 8.40 to go. A timeout taken by head coach Zach Spiker. And it's going to be a full timeout. So we will take a 60-second timeout and be back with more Raider Round Ball on the Patriot League Network and 94 KXE. Colgate University, we are champions for excellence. Founded in 1819, Colgate is one of the nation's leading liberal arts colleges, producing outstanding leaders. With a proud tradition of success, Colgate has 25 NCAA Division I teams competing with integrity at the highest level. Champions in the classroom and in Division I athletics at Colgate University.
94 KXC, all Colgate men's basketball in this one, 72-48 Raiders. And we mentioned that Colgate women's basketball will be on the 94 KXC airwaves this Saturday, hosting Bucknell here at Cotterell Court. Well, Colgate men's hockey will be on the airwaves as well at Union Friday night, 7 o'clock at RPI Saturday night. John McGraw with all the play-by-play -play of those two contests for Colgate hockey. Bounce pass to Morrison. Morrison has it stripped but gets it back. The right-handed hook, no good. Rivard, yet another rebound. Rivard almost has it stolen away, able to stay with it and hand it off to Tillotson. You just don't get the feeling that Army is going to mount a comeback in this one the way the Raiders are shooting tonight. And this is the first game Army has endured as the Rivard straightaway three, no good. Rebound followed by Regisford of Colgate. First game without Tanner Plum, and who knows how long Tanner Plum will be out. Uh, no idea, but when you're playing the first game without a guy that scores 21 points a game, sometimes it takes a little time to get adjusted to that absence. And certainly we're seeing that adjustment so far tonight. That was the seventh team foul against Colgate, third against Regisford, so that will put Hoffman at the line for a one and one opportunity. Too strong. Amezi, though, gets the offensive rebound for Army. And the Black Knights, another chance to attack the tin, this time down the floor. Here's Amezi. Guarded one on one by Robertson. High screen set by Morrison. That frees Amezi. Drives, puts up the shot, no good. But the freshman from North Carolina will go to the line for a couple where he is 15 out of 29 this season. But we'll have to wait as that brings us to immediate timeout. We'll be back in a minute and a half. Patriot League Network and 94 KXE. Mezzi at the free throw line. Army 9 out of 11 tonight, making 9 out of 12. First free throw is missed. Mezzi in his first collegiate start has 5 points tonight. Army currently led by Dylan Cox's 12, while Colgate has 3 players in double digits. Mezzi hits the second free throw. Jordan Swapshar with 14, Tillotson with 12, O'Brien with 11. Here's Tillotson with the spin. Tillotson over to Robertson. Tillotson back to Robertson, right wing in front of Coach Matt Langle. Coach Langle looking for the win tonight to improve his team in Patriot League play to three and two. Rivard puts up the three, hits the back heel, no good. Rebounded in the far corner by Fox. That's his first rebound of the night. Here's the shot, no good by Army. Offensive rebound by Toomey. 72-49 Colgate. Toomey goes all the way of the hoop on the left side. Good acceleration by Toomey. He has his ninth point on three out of four shooting, two out of two from the free throw line. Colgate now up 72-51. Biggest lead of the game for Colgate, 24 points. 
nip and tuck in the first half. Colgate led 35-31. We saw four ties, six lead changes. The pass by Regisford goes awry. 13th turnover of the night by Colgate. They do have 19 assists. While Army only nine assists compared to 18 turnovers, making 19 turnovers. Robertson with a steal and a right-handed slam dunk by J.R. Robertson having a heck of a second half. No points in the first half. He has eight here in the second half. Straight away three by Morrison. No good. 74-51. Colgate in control. A turnover by the Raiders. 6.05 to play in the game. Amezi curving in baseline. Now double teamed by Regisford and Rivard. That allows Morrison to get free left wing. Morrison hits the three. And there's a foul away from the ball against O'Brien. They'll put Toomey at the free throw line. Morrison nails the three. He was 0 for 3 from the floor, 0 for run from beyond the arc. That's Morrison's second three of the season. So they count the three. O'Brien picking up his first. And that puts Toomey at the line, where Larry is two out of two tonight. If Toomey makes this free throw, he will be in double digits. On the season, he averages only 5.4 points per game. Toomey's free throw too strong, and it's rebounded by O'Brien with 5.50 to go in the game, 74-54 Colgate. Here's a left-handed dribble by O'Brien. O'Brien, nice, behind the back, gives it to Tillotson. Tillotson sauntering down the right side, puts up with the right hand, bounces around, falls off. Toomey with a rebound. Puts it in the hands of Cox, near side right. Cox, shovel pass to Toomey. Toomey barrels down the lane, has a block by Rivard, unofficially the fourth block of the night by Tom Rivard. 5.25 to play, Colgate in command, up by 20. 74 254. Congratulations to Colgate women's hockey. They beat Cornell on Tuesday as there's the Dodge three. Dodge ducks that one in. Remember, this is only his third appearance of the season, but Nathan Dodge seeing some minutes tonight and making the most of them. He had three first half steals and now a triple for Dodge, his first of the season. 74-57, game not over yet. O'Brien jump pass to Tillotson in the far corner. Although Army would have to play near-perfect basketball. Two on the shot clock. Here goes Rivard. They call three seconds in the lane against Colgate. As I was mentioning, Colgate women's hockey edging Cornell 4-3 on Tuesday night. They'll be in action hosting Brown 7 o'clock Friday at Star Rink and then 4 o'clock hosting Yale on Saturday. Coach Fargo really has the women's hockey team playing some good basketball. Dodge missed the first, tried it again. And Dodge has another three. Unsung hero, Nathan Dodge, coming out of nowhere. I didn't even put him on my prep sheet, considering that out of all the games played this season, he's only seen action in two of them. Tillotson with a teardrop. 76-60. Colgate padding their lead. Breaking the 9-0 run for Army. Toomey on the opposite side. They're going to say no shot. A foul against Colgate. But that's the 10th foul anyway, so that will put Army at the line for two. Tom Rivard with a foul, his fourth. And we'll be back in 90 seconds. Colgate 76, Army 60. You're listening to Raider Round Ball, Patriot League Network, and 94 KXE.
Toomey at the line for a couple of free throws, misses the first. He made his first two of the night, missing his last two, and he is stuck at nine points. Toomey hits the second free throw to make it a 15-point game, and Toomey, the second Black Knights player in double digits tonight, joining Dylan Cox, who has 12. Army trying to pressure Colgate. Tillotson breaks it off glass and in, curves it in. Toomey goes down, no whistle, 78-61. Austin Tillotson has 16 points to lead all scorers tonight. Dodge taking another three and making another three. Nathan Dodge with three three-pointers tonight. 78-64. Colgate on top. Dodge now to pressure O'Brien out front. Like I said, this is Dodge's third appearance. He's only seen nine minutes all told coming into this game, and he had three points coming into tonight. No threes. He has three tonight. Nathan Dodge making the most out of his opportunity tonight for the Black Knights. Bat with three on the shot clock, misses it from the left low block. Army down by 14. Three minutes to go. Toomey fakes the three, passes it to Cox, sets the screen. Cox still with it, throw back to Toomey. Toomey drives against Dana Bad and is fouled. That will put Army at the line for two more. This will be Army's 17th and 18th free throw attempt of the contest while Colgate is 8 out of 11 from the line. The Raiders shooting just under 60%. Army shooting just over 40%. Larry Toomey has 10 points. Number 33 adds to that total. And Army now down by 13. Harry Toomey hearing it from the student section here. He knocks in both. 78-66. Toomey has 12. Alex Ramon comes to the basketball, catches the inbounds pass from O'Brien, then nearly throws it away, but they call the foul against Dodge in the backcourt. That's only the sixth team foul against Army. That's Dodge's second. Dana Bat goes out of the game. Rivard, Swapshire, Tillotson, Ramon, and O'Brien, the five on the floor for the Raiders. Ramon comes to the basketball, catches it, gives it back to a wide open O'Brien this time. Looks like Army West Point women's basketball is going to come away with a victory after a valiant attempt by Colgate. 12 seconds left to go. Army West Point women's basketball up by 12. O'Brien loses the basketball, although Dodge on his back tips it to O'Brien. O'Brien to Tillotson with six on the shot clock. Tillotson. He'll put up the long two, in and out, back in. Tillotson was on the line. He has 18 points. 80 to 66, Colgate. Toomey swings it over left side. Rowe puts it up with a right-hander. No good. And another rebound by Colgate as the Raiders sealing the deal on this one. They will break their two-game Patriot League losing streak. Alex Ramon for three, pops out the last second. That was rebounded by Kennedy Edwards. Dodge is going to put up another three, misses this one. Swapshire with the rebound. And the Raiders played a great game tonight against Army. Probably taking out some aggression after losing a heartbreaker to Navy. Swapshire for three, no good. Rebounded by Army. Dylan Cox has his pocket picked by O'Brien. O'Brien takes the ball away. Actually, it's going to be a jump ball situation. One eleven to play. All Raiders in this one. Jordan Fox and Luke Morrison re-enter the Army lineup. Swapshire slaps the basketball. He'll dive that pass to Tillotson. 
Tillotson right in front of Coach Langle. Now slowing the tempo. As the overall series will now be Army 59, Colgate 58. Colgate can tie things up in the overall series in the 118th meeting later on this year in West Point. Rivard's three, no good. Here comes Army down by 14. 38 seconds to play. Kennedy Edwards, three ball, no good. And there is a five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. O'Brien guarded by Dodge, trying to play keep away. 17 and counting. I think Dodge went for the steal and accidentally knocked heads with O'Brien. He is grimacing right now. 8.9 seconds left to go. The ball is knocked out of bounds. Dodge basically has his right eye closed. He's trying to tough it out right now, but he definitely took the brunt of that contact. Tillotson throws it in. O'Brien three, right wing, too long, no good. Five seconds to play. Jordan Fox dribbles down, throws it to a wide open Dodge for three, in and out, no good. And Army loses 80 to 66. We'll be back in 30 seconds with a Matt Langle interview on 94 KXE.